Welcome to the 2012 ACMG Presidential Plenary Session and Awards Ceremony. The American College of Medical Genetics Foundation Lifetime Achievement Award is the foundation's highest honor. It symbolizes the finest in leadership, research, teaching, and scientific pursuit in medical genetics. No one is more deserving of this award than today's recipient. Dr. Rodney Howell was born in Concord, North Carolina. I promise to tell, tell not too many secrets, Rod. Um, one little known fact is that his father owned a mechanical shop. And Dr. Howell actually became a master machinist. Fortunate for our profession, he went on to Davidson College and then on to medical school at Duke. Dr. Howell is a charter member of the college and the foundation and has been on the uh, foundation board for the past 10 years where he currently serves as president. He has chaired the Scientific Advisory Committee for the Muscular Dystrophy Association and currently is the chairman of the MDA Board of Directors. Rod loves children. His lifelong commitment has been to work in pediatrics and genetics. He was the senior advisor to the director of the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development from 2004 to 2011 and the Secretary's Advisory Committee Chairman on Heritable Disorder Disorders of newborn, Newborns and Children. And you know that that committee was responsible for the enormous changes that we've seen in newborn screening throughout this country. For those of us that have had the honor of working with Rod, we have seen how he can bring differing opinions together to form consensus. For those of you that have not had the pleasure of working with him, you have benefited from his tireless work and his endless energy. In 2007, he received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Duke University Medical Alumni Association. And now it is my distinct honor to present Dr. Rodney Howell with the Foundation's Lifetime Achievement Award. must be one of the heaviest awards given. Uh, uh, th thank you very much, Ray. Uh, I'm actually very deeply honored uh, that my colleagues of the foundation and the medical genetics community uh, have honored me by acknowledging the work that I've done on behalf of the college and the foundation. It means a great deal, I think, when your colleagues recommend, recognize some of the things that you've done. Uh, and since I was born 27 miles from this building, uh, in addition to my three children who are sitting here in the front row, I appreciate the fact that some 2,000 of you who've joined me in my hometown to celebrate this important event. Thank you for coming to the party and so forth. Over the past 25 years, uh, over 25 years ago, many of us were working on the clinical applications of genetics within the Genetic Services Commu Committee of the American Society of Human Genetics. It was recognized by ASHG and all of us at that time that there was an enormous amount of work to be done. Uh, and the ASHG facilitated our efforts to gather in San Diego to plan a new organization that would focus wholly on the translation of genetics into clinical practice. Many of that group remains very active in ASHG today. For example, uh, we are the ACMG uh, we are incorporated in Illinois because our current attorney, Dr. Lynn Fleischer, uh, was a mover and a shaker at these early meetings in San Diego over two decades ago and remains so today. 
Another activist in the early uh, work of the college was Mike Watson, who later became our first and only executive director. And at the time Mike was hired as executive director, he constituted 50% of the staff. Uh, he now directs a staff of over 20 outstanding people. It's been very exciting to me to see this young organization to be the go-to group in newborn screening, uh, in particular, uh, in that particular area of genetic practice. The leadership of the college is known throughout the world, and it is common when visiting any state laboratory or any foreign country uh, for the group to proudly announce that, yes, they do run the ACMG core panel. It's known throughout the world. Uh, the work in these areas has revolutionized newborn screening and has saved countless lives. The college will continue to provide leadership in, so in these important areas. And as the applications and the use of the whole genome and whole exome sequencing uh, continues to come to the forefront, the college will likely provide key leadership in such areas of informed consent and return of results. Although the college has an annual budget of over $7 million, there is little flexible money to support these important new works. A key effort as we move into the next decade of the college is to identify and secure flexible funds to support these key efforts. The membership has increasingly become involved in the foundation. For example, this year, over 40 individuals are members of the genetic leadership group uh, and each of these members uh, provides more than at least $1,000 or more to the college activities per year. Importantly, more than 560 members of the college currently contributes to the foundation, which I think is a remarkable percentage uh, if you look across the board. These efforts will clearly ensure that the work of the college must go forth. So I leave you with the words that your continuing support of the foundation will ensure our future. Thank you very much.